satellite line. Yes, I want the satellite line included. No, don't deconstruct it. Wrong button. Copy. There to there. Uh, I'm going to leave myself a gap because I'm going to need more robo ports in this mess. And that becomes our rocket build. G'day mate and welcome back to Factorio with me, Jenny. So, again, lots of things have happened. So, first thing we're going to go through is you might notice that all our trains are backed up because I cut some belts. Um, I intentionally cut the belts to stop these guys flowing because I need to shut everything down. Um, turns out, for me to prioritize the different outposts for the different, the different, excuse me, um, the different, um, modules we're gonna go with modules um it can be done it just requires me to really think about it right from the start which i didn't do so i'm gonna just cycle all these trains so all our buffer boxes are full because i can um so at the moment all the trains are shut down so i can do the priorities but we're gonna cover all that in the next episode what we're gonna cover in this episode is this um i don't want to kill science yet and i need to have science well i'm choosing to have science running because i want some sort of pressure on the base and like i gotta admit having mining productivity 83 and counting is really really handy but i also want a slightly more efficient build now i chatted to oleg who is like my my, my ups guru if i need something more efficient and the build I have works, but unfortunately it has all these splitters in it. And because I'm using splitters, that belt segment is only, it, it's it's very short. And then the game has to recalculate a new segment, um, which is sometimes more efficient, sometimes not more efficient. I'm not going to get into any of those technicalities right now, but there is a way to have the build even, even, even more efficient. And I've taken his original build and modified it slightly. I'm going to put it down here. So you can see, you know, this is my build, this is his build, and it's using good old buffer chests. And each one of these chests is capped to just one stack, which sounds great until you think about your rocket science, which stacks and stacks at 2,000. This is why people don't use this build. Unless you happen to be in a base that happens to have thousands of rocket science packs sitting in chests doing nothing. At which point, this build sounds perfectly logical. So what we're actually going to do is I am going to disconnect each and every one of those stack inserters. So nothing that goes to storage can leave the base. Um, that's really important. Uh, and then we're gonna just do it. Just, just a quick tidy up. Uh, turn that off. Like from there to there. It could all go. Because uh, what I actually want to do is I want to move everything. I actually want to start down this bottom corner and then we're going to basically rebuild this. Uh, no, can I get... Okay. Deconstruct. Undeconstruct the bottom line. Copy. Okay, you can be kept. There you go. Copy all those beacons because this is sort of where I want my build to go and pop that in there and then I want to get this nope, this number two build and that's a weird way to do the beacons JD but sure uh, I just want to paste this build in now the bots are going to take ages to get this shit sorted but that's fine. The idea is we're gonna we're gonna pre-plan it out, and then between episodes it can get built. Okay, try that again. Copy, flip it twice because I want it to go right to left this time. Flip it twice again because I want it to go left to right this time. Uh, I need to work out my belts. Uh, okay. So what do we have? We have 
purple and purple and yellow right there at the top. Then the next one we have is going to be blue science. Uh, then the next one is going to be rocket science. 10,000 rocket science packs sitting in chests doing nothing but buffering for UPS reasons. Uh, which goes in there. And then finally we're going to have our red and green science which comes out here uh, okay basically redoing the spaghetti uh, okay. that robot network combine with that robot network please uh, now what do I want to request Okay, first off, let's have all that marked for deconstruction as well. Uh, yep. Um, okay, I need this crap out of my way. So let's turn on the personal bots and let's get this stuff started. Uh, because we had five rows, I want to say. Oh, God. Whatever, we're going to rip up all this and then... Cut that actually and paste it over, over there. That seems out of the way. Um, that can go as well. Because I actually want to put in, um, I want to put in our next lot of silos first before I then put down the science build. Uh, can we just pick up everything, please? This is one of the joys of running the game two times normal speed like things things happen faster uh, actually speaking of things happening faster let's put on can we stop it bots yeah okay let's go wander it into a build why do I have double that can actually go yeah pick up all those put them back down put on that armor instead which has more range and more importantly, way more, uh... Sorry, I had to sneeze. Um, way more recharge capacity. Uh, I want to auto-trash all of that. And all of that. And all of that. I'm going to trash that one as well. And that one. You know what, funny enough, we're going to trash that one as well. Uh, poor Logimots. You had thousands and thousands of packs. Uh, sure, you can put them over there. It's just going to cause more of a hassle later, but that's fine. Uh, right, let's just free up the bots for right this second, and then we'll work out the other details later. Okay. Can we get this built, please? Uh, this build goes right. So we want a build that's going to go left. And then we're going to want another build, potentially, that goes to the right. Except somewhere in this corner, I need to put all my physical science making, plus I need to actually load the belts. Uh, oh, and you feed to the right, really? No, no, that one, the top one's done wrong. Okay, so you're going to the right, so I need the top build about your long going from left to right. Done, now I feel better. Okay, so we need red and green sites. Red and green sites. This little bit here is going to go like that, and it's going to feed in there. Then we have blue sites just by itself. So that little build 
is going to worm its way straight in there. Then we have purple and yellow science. And I also have a space science. Okay, that's not going to work. Uh, you guys go away. Space science. And okay, if I do... Chest, chest, chest. I'm on auto save. Uh, chest, chest, chest. Okay, what am I putting in? I'm putting in blue science. So let's just grab the blue science part and put it down here. Because now let me think. Uh, no, I need four tiles. Okay, if I put that there. Then I want purple on one side of this belt. And I want yellow on the other side of this belt. And then that just leaves space science, which is just on one side of the belt as well. In there. That's about as come back as I can get things. I think. Um. Yes. Uh, yeah, I can't see anywhere to squeeze that down anymore. Okay. Uh, no, don't, don't fill that machine's requests. Okay, we want one build, two build, three build. Uh, technically, you don't fit by a tile. Can I make that one tile smaller? Um, 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 no. No is my quick and obvious answer. Okay. Drag that into there. Put down a row report so maybe stuff can start getting built. Uh, turn off personal robots. All that can go away. In fact, all of that can go away. I want the satellite line. Yes, I want the satellite line included. No, don't deconstruct it. Wrong button. Copy. There to there. Uh, I'm going to leave myself a gap because I'm going to need more robo ports in this mess. And that becomes our rocket build. Hey, come on, fill up my inventory with all this shit. Uh, oh, rover port. Uh, one rover port, two rover port. Have all the rocket science. Uh, that chest doesn't exist yet. satellites. I have no idea how the satellite's going to get in here yet. It's a later JD problem. Uh, okay. Uh, this is getting built slowly. This is getting built slowly. This is requesting stuff slowly. We're going to need roboports on our roboports with some roboports to spare. Um, what are we missing? 346 stack inserters. Yeah, filter stack inserters. I can make eight. That counts, right? Uh, 
Oh, there's that much of the crap in my inventory. Uh, we're going to cap you to one slot. One slot. And one slot. Why are we not running? Oh, it's those pesky filter stack and setters that I was talking about. You think I put the ones right beside me first? Uh, at the point I'm handcrafting grand circuits, that's always a good sign. Reports there, there, slap one down there. Uh, okay, so we've got robot coverage here. We've got this stuff being built. Take that off auto trash and I'm going to put it into. I don't know. Into this chest. That's where it's going to go now. Okay. So I just need 10 bazillion stack, ins stack filter inserters. So let's go jump on a train. Uh, and charge home at double game speed. And stack filter inserters. How many do you want that? Like Jenny, 500. 500 please. And out of my way trains. What are those bots doing? Picking up something. Sorry, deliveries again. Um, oh, that that'll probably do us. What else do we need? Labs. Actually, I should have some labs up here as well. Yep, I have four. One, one lab. Uh, prod mods. I might as well just pick them up whilst I'm here. Okay, back down here we go. And then hopefully we can get this build just knocked out and start the science running it. Oh, that's what we need the problem ones for. Why is this train not unloading? Oh, because I never had it unload problem ones. No, we somehow got one more lab than we had previously. Two more laps, okay. We'll find out how many more laps when we get down there. Uh, go stack filter inserters. So yeah, like I said, this build is technically meant to be a little bit more efficient um, when it comes to UPS. But I'm, I'm really, I, I can't stress this enough. I'm really at the point where I'm, 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 I'm pinching pennies. Um, this is going to make such a non-existent difference it really doesn't matter um but i wanted to do it for completeness sake um that's probably the best way of putting it uh so if i paste that on the end uh, and then i put a rubber port there okay so that's that one flowing into our second lane which then I can put one of these on here, which won't okay, turn off legs, which won't be flowing the right way, but it should be just a case of reverse all the th things. Uh, that definitely didn't work. That doesn't hook up to anything. Okay. There's no red and green signs. Why for not? Because uh, there's a butt ton of buffering that needs to be done, or it's being requested from the other side of the map. It's being requested from the other side of the map. Come 
Come on, autosave. Uh, if I put you there, you there, you there, can I cut that and possibly squeeze it in here? If I move you down there and you down there, that should let me get that beacon in. Yes, I can squeeze that down there. Dump everything. Uh, all the you guys got all your prob mods. Yes, you've all got your chests. Yes, uh, we're short a couple of beacons and one lap. Uh, that lap. Okay. So we just need everything to empty out of storage. If I. What? We're storing 4.4k red sites. Uh, actually, let's let's just try this. Okay, so you're going to do red sites. You're going to do green sites. You're going to do blue sites. You're going to do purple. You're going to do yellow. I'm assuming there's a bunch of military up there. You have 41k. And then you're going to do everything else. Now, in theory... If I do that, the construction bots can get involved. And the only spot they can bring in is these chests, pre-sorted. Um, look at the build go. Okay. So. Uh, what? Okay, somebody be rude. Yeah. Okay, you are actually you, and you are actually you. Okay, so mistake number one. Belts around the wrong way. Easier to change the stack inserters than it is to change the belts. Or empty and flush the belts. Uh, okay. Which now means I need to do that row and that row uh, what was the belt we're missing we're missing blue science out how the hell do I squeeze that through there So it looks so easy in the other one. Blue science went out the top and came in at the bottom. And now it's in at the bottom. And... In at the bottom and in at the top. Taking its time to get there. Yeah, there's blue science in there. Uh, there's no blue science down here. Yet. Okay. But it means I should be able to go copy from there to there, rotate it twice, paste, paste, paste. That should set all my inserters around the right way. So that's blue, that's blue, that's blue. I can copy that and paste that there to let that science start running. Uh, in theory, we should be good to go. We've just got to empty all this crap out of storage, which we're doing slowly. That's like everything else storage. Because I needed a bit more room for everything else 
Holy oh, shit, we're still emptying them. Okay, I needed lots of room. Uh, so there's no green science left. Uh, and, oh, there's no... Okay. There's no space science at all. So at the moment we're just filling these belts. You know, there's a few thousand left in these chests. But it's fine, we'll get to those. Uh, blue science chest... Still says 6.5k in storage. Where in storage? I don't know of any other storage chests. 3.9. Oh, it's in those two chests. Okay. So we just need to get rid of the last little bit of yellow science out of here. And the last little bit of red science out of there. Like that. Like that. That should disappear and that should disappear fairly quickly. And then can I segregate your network still? Separate, that's separate. No. Okay, let's run over here. Can I? That's separate now. Uh, this row report. There. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Oh, stop it. Uh, single long hand inserter. From there to there. With an active provider chest right there. Ah. Uh, uh. I'll run over there and do storage shortly. Uh, power connection. Go away. Uh, dump crap I don't want. Do I need... Oh, I don't really need those construction robots. Uh, definitely a logi bot. That can go away, that can go away, all that can go away, all that can go away, that can go away, that can go away. Uh, I have ammo, I have a pistol. It means I died at some stage. Okay. Uh, so now if I stand on this side of the border and pick up this shit. Uh, the non-existent logi bots in this network can deal with it. The one, the now one Logibot in this network can deal with it. That side of the oil build. So, same story. I just want to rehook up storage for recycling just so stuff goes away. And then we're going to turn on the rest of the labs. Uh, one, two, three. For a stack inserter. There, 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 there. Hi, train. Perfect timing. Have that, have that, that, that. Uh, have some of them. Bit of that. Uh, all of them. Some of that stuff. All of that stuff. Am I requesting? Am I requesting massive amounts of that? It's fine to start. Uh, that can go away, that can go away. Uh, don't know what else can go away. Do I need to have a trash exit from this network? Yes, it's always a good idea. So again, we'll just put that guy down with one of them, with that active provider. And I'd love, just, can I just have 
50. I'll do me. Uh, 50 Logibots. Auto save. <sighs> Game, I'm trying to do things. Uh, there you go. That'll take care of that crap. And then we're going to come through here. I'm just going to boot up all these. Well, boot up these rockets. It's definitely the wrong term. Uh, empty all of these rockets storage that I've just had sitting around forever uh, and I'm probably definitely gonna run out of passive provider chests whilst doing this uh, I've run out don't forget I still have that whopping grade be belt that's also full of space science packs that are were going and loading onto that train that come over here to go to these whopping great big yep yeah, they're also full uh, so yeah I, I, I don't have any shortage of packs anytime soon but if all those empty seems like a reasonable amount of robobots Science should run. What are you missing? Space science. Space science. Space science. Space science. Space science. Space science. Uh, it's still buffering. It's still buffering. Because each one of these chests needs to have 2k in it. So it's going to take a while to buffer up. Um... Meanwhile, everything else looks to be going fine. We've got nice compressed belts going in. And it's just like a, a wait to see how many of these labs we can run. I actually have a feeling I've got too many labs. Again. 65. Yeah, I think I've got too many labs. Anyway, this is where I'm going to call this episode. Um, we've, we've rearranged the labs. We've got a little bit more speed out of them. I know a couple of people have suggested I do robot builds. I was going to, and then I remembered that I had Olex build, um, sitting in my, my, it's a base tour I'd done previously. Actually, I'll link it up in the top right hand corner. Um, when he did a 5k train base. Um, so I had that build. It was more UPS efficient. So I decided we're going to dump this down. I also have the perfect excuse to actually have thousands and thousands of space science sitting in a chest, in a buffer chest for no reason, because I'm just launching a bazillion rockets. Um, and then next episode, we're going to... I'm going to walk you guys through how to set up the priorities on the outposts. Um, and have different... different, In my case, large modules pull from different outposts. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go through that in the next episode with Transply Manager. Because that's what I needed to do to work out congestion. Um, I left the game running last night with this one buffering. Um, not even switched on, just, just buffering. And then woke up this morning to the mother of all traffic jams that have taken an hour or two to clean up. Anyway, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you're enjoying. I'll see you guys in the next episode. All right, bye.